Hello everybody, it's Dazran Tree Tree and welcome along to another Q&A Friday. Um, before you say what happened to your hair in the comment section, right? Uh, what did you think of the new little banner that comes up at the top? It's kind of, it's nice and purple, I like purple. And it gives links to my YouTube, Twitch, uh, Twitter and Facebook. So it's kind of new and it's small, it's smaller as well, it doesn't take up the screen. So let me know what you think of that. And of course, this is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on PC. Look at those HD graphics, it looks awesome. Um, uh, Modern Warfare 3 is a game I just recently got on PC and this is a gameplay during one of my 3 hour live streams I did of MW3 if you want to uh, be a part of those make sure to follow me on Twitch the link came up on that little banner I was on about but um, yeah game looks really amazing and I've never seen this game obviously I played it for I think it was days actually I played it for probably about 20 to 30 days I clocked up a lot of time on this one getting Moabs um, had a series on this for Machinima Respawn and playing it in HD for the first time was like, wow, this game looks uh, pretty cool. Like a lot of the graphics that you would have seen on Wii are nice and crisp. You see the corners and all, everything uh, a bit nicer, but it doesn't make the game any better. It's still the same game and I enjoyed it on the Wii and I'm enjoying it on PC. Now, let's go into the Q&A Friday. Um, you guys sent in loads of questions and unfortunately that guy never got back to me about the Elgato. So again, this week there is another chance for an Elgato. Everyone that comments, that has commented on last week's episode, uh, is in with a chance of winning so I'm gonna read out all the questions I picked now and if your name comes up you're in with a chance and on Sunday I'm actually gonna run the uh, random pick of all the person people I read out in the comments you guys are all in with a chance so remember to come back on Sunday and if you win please message me with your address so I can send you the unit I will email you as well um, it will actually probably be just a PM on YouTube not an email I will PM you on YouTube uh, asking you for your address and all that so okay let's start it off uh, with XIX Roses. What's the longest you've ever played a game in one sitting? Um, surprisingly, it's not one of the Call of Duties because I do I do play them for long extended periods. Um, even live streamed this for three hours when I played it. But um, it's probably Infestation Survivor Stories. If you don't know what that game is, uh, in a brief synopsis, it's a bit like DayZ. So zombie survival horror in a big open world and you can have up to 100 people running around on the map with you and most other human players want to kill you. But um, Having a lot of fun with that game. I think I live streamed it there on Twitch one night from it was about 9 p.m. all the way up till 6 or 7 in the morning. Oh, it was crazy! A crazy extended session. It was mad, but uh, that's probably one of my longest, I think, uh, in recent years. Anyhow, moving on. Do you still think Go Vacation U Wii U will come out? I'm very hopeful. Fingers crossed that that game does come out. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't happen. The developers were saying at one point that uh, they've got a couple of interesting ideas they could pull off with the Wii U gamepad. So that was promising, but nothing has been announced as of yet. And I even uh, messaged Namco Bandai and I didn't get anything back unfortunately, but um, very hopeful still. Moving on. What is the worst thing th in... What is the worst thing the gaming industry can do become to become to make you stop playing video games? Uh, what's the worst thing they could do? Maybe if games uh, all took this pay to uh, pay to play approach. I was going to say pay to win because that's a term I hear a lot uh, in the infestation game. But uh, pay to win or oh, Jesus, I did say it. Pay to play <laughs> or whatever it is. I think that's the format. Um, it's basically where you have games like I downloaded one on my phone. It's a bit like Command and Conquer. Command and Conquer is a real time strategy. You build a base, you build the units and tanks and all the rest of it. And you know, you can build a base, but some of the units you have to pay like two dollars or two euros for to be able to build that unit. So the game might be very cheap or even free, but to get the most out of the game, you have to buy the things within the game. Like uh, if Call of Duty was pay to play, um, you would pay for the perks and the guns you want in the game and I think that's a very weird move with gaming it's definitely something I don't want to support I'm not into that but um, if, if gaming all became just that I wouldn't like it now in saying that games probably work out cheaper because you actually pay for what you want to have in the game but um, still it's I like to pay a price and that's it I have the game I have everything that's in the game I don't like this thing of paying after you bought it I don't like that at all what was your very first YouTube channel that if that's if it wasn't already Dazran Tree Tree. My first channel is this channel. This is the very first channel I ever created. Um, I didn't make a lot of channels before this one. Uh, I made a lot of channels after this one. 
I think I made like two vlog channels and two like let's play channels or something like that because uh, I didn't want everything uh, cluttering up my main channel but then in the end I kind of decided I'm just going to keep everything for my main channel so uh, this is my very first YouTube channel so there you go what's the worst movie you've ever seen the worst movie I'd, I've ever seen it definitely has to be Phantom of the Opera Lil Andy uh, back in her early years of going out decided to rent that piece of crap movie and I fell asleep during it. It's not my cup of tea. It's a big musical. Uh, wasn't into it at all. <laughs> uh, how the heck do you get the comments to appear on screen? Is there an application of some sort? It's very easy. Uh, I open YouTube. I open this video up. I, I click on all comments. Uh, all the comments come up in a line. And if I see a comment I want, I hit print screen on my keyboard. And then I open up Win or Paint. It's on Windows. Everyone has it if you have Windows. Uh, I'm sure there's a Mac equivalent and I just paste the picture in there and then I use the crop feature and I draw a little box around the comments I want and that's it I save that as its own image and I can just drag it onto the timeline in Sony Vegas that's the editing software I use that's how I do it did you ever cry because of a game no I never did I never cried because of a game uh, I'm, I'm not one to get emotional about a lot of things even real life stuff but uh, no games have never brought emotion out of me let's say um, they do give me shivers, however. Sometimes when something really cool happens, uh, I get shivers and all that. But uh, never cried because of the game in Zelda or when characters die. Never really. That's not that's not me, really. <laughs> As Monster Hunter 4 is online on the 3DS and the Wii U might get left out, what games now do you think the Wii U needs to increase its suffering profile? Um, it's no mystery that the Wii U isn't doing too great uh, now, but it, it definitely needs its own Zelda game, maybe a 3D Mario platformer. Not probably, uh, Super Mario 3D World isn't a 3D platformer uh, Mario fans are looking for. They're looking like something for uh, Mario 64 or uh, Galaxy, um, something like that. Um, I think definitely what's going to happen, to what's going to help the Wii U now is Mario Kart 8. When that comes out, that's going to be really good. Uh, especially for online play and the community aspect. I hope that brings a nice little community aspect like the Mario Kart Wii channel tried to do. I, think it imp I hope it improves on that. And Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. I don't know what the name of it is. Super Smash Bros. U perhaps. That's going to be a really big hit for the Wii U as well. And it's all going to bring in a lot more uh, users. So hopefully that helps the Wii U. Uh, moving on to another question. This is a two questions but short ones. <laughs> What is your favourite games so far and why? My favourite game so far would have to be 2D Mario. They have been all my life. Uh, 2D Mario games. Definitely my favourites so far. Uh, loved New Super Mario Bros. U. New Super Luigi U wasn't as long as I hoped. I beat it in one day. I got 100%. I got all the star coins and everything. Uh, in live streams on Twitch. Live streams on Twitch? <laughs> uh, beat that whole game. It was really fun. And what games are you looking forward to the most in the couple of years? Um, I'm actually really looking forward to We Part of You when that, whenever that comes out. It's supposed to be this year. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, any other games that come out for the Wii U that feature Miis. Uh, I'm looking forward to the new Command & Conquer that's supposed to be coming out very soon. And I'm looking forward to Super Mario 3D World. I'm actually looking forward to that one. A lot of people have been kind of saying uh, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be Super Mario Galaxy-like. But it's going to be its own experience. I'm really looking forward to that game. I think uh, if I can play that with Lil Andy and Alicia and Megan or whoever comes around because there's four player multiplayer, it's going to really shine. It's going to be amazing. Um, so that's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, I want to say thanks for watching this video. Uh, for everyone's questions who I read out, you guys are all in with a chance of winning an Elgato. Uh, and on Sunday I will do that randomly generated uh, picking of the winner. So make sure to come back for that on Sunday. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. And leave questions in the comment section below to feature in next week's Q&A Friday. All right, guys, see ya.